Okay, and hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and today I actually wanted to talk about Need for Speed 2015. Now, if you do play this game, one of the things that you want to figure out, especially at lower levels, is like, oh, well, um, I want, like, a really fast car that'll get up to, that'll get, go really fast. So you go on YouTube and you start looking looking around trying to find things for uh, like uh, the fastest car in the game a lot of people end up picking the uh, uh, the Ferrari F40 they end up picking the McLaren and every time I see those kind of videos I'm like well that's not actual speed you're just talking about top speed not actual speed of the car and I've always gotten confused with that kind of thing. Now, if you actually want a really good 0-60 to 60 speed demon, then this car right here is the choice for you. Uh, 1965 Ford Mustang. Now, it is really, really fast. Now, you would also notice that it looks like Kim Block's car, just without the wrap on it. Um, yeah, you're right. It's also like one of the cheapest cars in the game that you can afford that you can afford pretty early on in this game. And it is not that bad. So I would honestly suggest buying it. Obviously I have the money for it, but um the super's alright. Uh there's a lot of good cars in this game, but there's very few that actually come close to having the good good enough zero to sixty times. But if you want one that does have good 0 to 60 times, most of all the Mustangs have good 0 to 60, except for the newest one on here. Now, another thing that most people diss is the Ford Focus RS. Now, the Ford Focus RS is actually a really good car in this game. It's all-wheel drive. It's all-wheel drive. It's fast. It's amazing. It's really light, so it gets up and goes really quickly. And then... You know, if you keep going up here, you keep seeing GTRs and stuff. Now, Viper. Viper is a good one. Viper is an insanely good car. If you do ever have the chance in this game to buy one, buy it. Because Vipers are really fast. Another thing that you want to buy, especially if you have the money, is one of these. The Porsche Carrera. A Porsche 911 Carrera. R RSR. Yeah, sorry. Um, But yes. You think, oh, but it's old. It's not going to go anywhere. It's going to suck. Well, you're wrong because uh, this car is actually insanely fast, especially when upgraded. And then a lot of people who've played this game before are going to be like, wait a minute, hold on. That looks like Nakasons. And it's going to, and let me tell you, it is. It is Nakasons Porsche. But it's just a stripped down version. But this time you can actually upgrade it. And if you put a 15 bottle of NOS in this thing, a 15 pound bottle of NOS in this thing, and you turn it to powerful and not duration, that thing will fly. I've had these things before fully upgraded. And as you can tell, I have restarted mine because I was just so bored of it. Do not buy this Ferrari. The Lamborghini Diablo is alright. This one's pretty good too. Uh, Huracan's really quick. Um, McLaren is kind of slow. Good for drifting though. The Aventador's heavy and slow. Uh, the Ferrari F40 is okay. Not very good with 0-60, to 60, but it's good with top speed. This thing just overall sucks, and yeah, well, that's about everything. Oh, by the way, don't buy this GTR. Buy this GTR. I have no idea why that person. Um, and then there's the Chevrolet. Now, this one is a little slow, and it could really use some uh, actual speed I mean it's just a drift car really this car I've had before it's decent but uh yeah it's slow too kind of uh, most of the newer model Porsches that you guys are gonna find are just gonna be slow most of the BMWs here are really slow only meant for drifting really the, this GTR is all right um, the Lotus is quick sort of and this is an okay Porsche the Acura NSX is alright. This thing is pretty.
pretty good. Now, Evo's, or well, yeah, E E30. That's what it is. 1988. So the BMW M3s are not bad. I wouldn't. I I mean, I wouldn't suggest it to a first timer. They're pretty torquey, but they're pretty fun. This thing, never buy it. Never buy this thing. No matter how many upgrades you sink into it, it's never gonna go. 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds. It will never do it. I don't know why these people keep sending crap to me. Um, um, my answer's alright. Anyway, but just to prove to you guys that this is an alright car, look at these specs. 983 horsepower. 221 miles an hour. It can do the quarter mile in 9 seconds nine seconds that's not including the 33 seconds the 33 milliseconds on there but it goes 168 in the quarter mile which is pretty dang quick especially whenever you look at it from an actual um, racing car standpoint uh, 0 to 60 is 2.53 seconds that's pretty quick it's not as fast as that Porsche that I was talking about Nakasone's Porsche it's not as fast as that but it is pretty darn good, and I'm pretty sure you could catch him with a little bit on us. And this thing isn't even fully upgraded yet. And I can do more upgrades with this car if I want to and make it even faster, because I've had these things make a little over a thousand horsepower before, and they rip up the road. So, honestly, guys, it was kind of a short video because I kind of wanted to show you guys that. Indeed, you can have a car like this, and it will whoop some butt, but, and, and you can also look good doing it, too. And if you're also wondering about the wrap, I made the wrap myself. I personally really like this two-tone paint job that I did for this car. And honestly, I think it looks pretty good low-slung like this. Yeah, well, that's going to be the end of this video. I mean, it was pretty short. I, I just wanted to give you guys the short and sweet of um of everything for it so i will see you guys later i think i'm gonna do a live stream here in a little bit i will think about that though see you in a little bit guys